evaporation evaporation means it is a process of conversion of liquid to vapor boiling is also same but there is a difference evaporation take place at any temperature below its boiling point the process of boiling will take place at a particular temperature and it is different for different liquid here we are going to discuss about evaporation evaporation is the process of conversion of liquid to vapor at any temperature below boiling point for example we all are familiar with drying clothes right when we are drying clothes first we will make it wet we will wash it after that we will dry it we will make it dry the water is not boiling but water is converting into vapor after some time the wet clothes will be dry it is because of evaporation with the help of sunlight or with the help of wind speed the water is converting into vapor this process is known as evaporation the boiling process is not taking place here it is just evaporation conversion of liquid to vapor at any temperature the phenomenon of change of a liquid into vapors at any temperature below its boiling point is called evaporation evaporation will take place always below the boiling point we can discuss the reason for evaporation we know that liquid consists of several particles there are n number of particles because liquid is a matter matter consists of particle these are the particles here and the particles at the surface are known as surface particle when this surface particle is getting kinetic energy and there is a chance of getting high kinetic energy for this surface particle because sunlight is directly striking on the surface because of that this surface particles are going to get kinetic energy higher kinetic energy they are going to get higher kinetic energy because of that they will convert into vapor it is a reason for evaporation evaporation is evaporation is because of kinetic energy of the particle and it is a surface phenomenon a small fraction of particles at the surface are having higher kinetic energy these particles are able to break the forces of attraction of other particle we know that there are forces of attraction between the particle the surface particle the particles present at the surface will break this attractive force because of the high kinetic energy now we can discuss about the factors affecting evaporation there are four main factors which are affecting evaporation first one is surface area second one is temperature third one is wind speed fourth one is humidity there are four factors one is surface area second one is temperature third one is wind speed fourth one is humidity now we can discuss the role of each factor in rate of evaporation first we can discuss about surface area Let's consider two clothes these are two clothes and the surface area of this green clothes is more than this cloth right and we know that evaporation is a surface phenomenon and these all molecules are going to get kinetic energy and here these molecules are going to get kinetic energy which is having which surface is having more molecules and which surface is going to get more kinetic energy yes this surface is going to get more kinetic energy this surface is having more molecule the conversion of water vapor conversion of water into vapor will be more in this cloth here this many number these many particles are converting into vapor because of kinetic energy but in this second case the number of particle which are converting into vapor are more because of more surface area we can conclude that rate of evaporation will increase with increase in surface area now we can discuss about temperature what is the effect of temperature on evaporation evaporation is a surface phenomenon when there is more temperature if it is sunny day just imagine it is summer season and it is sunny day and the temperature is above 40 degree celsius what is going to happen if it is high temperature the particles present in the surface of water is going to get kinetic energy if the temperature is more the particles are going to get more kinetic energy because of that the rate of evaporation will be more these all particles are going to get kinetic energy because of the high temperature and it will vaporize fast we can conclude that the rate of evaporation will increase with increase in temperature rate of evaporation increases with increase in temperature if there is increase in temperature particles get enough kinetic energy to go into vapor state next one is wind speed 
when there is heavy wind there won't be any water vapor in the atmosphere the wind will take away all the water vapor present in the surrounding and because of that the rate of evaporation will increase because here there is no water vapor and this water particle the particles of water will fill that gap so rate of evaporation will be more it is a common observation that clothes dry faster on a windy day with the with the increase in wind speed the particles of water vapor move away with the wind decrease in the amount of water vapor in the surrounding if there is less amount of water in the surrounding the rate of evaporation will be more last one is humidity what do you mean by humidity humidity is the amount of water vapor present in the atmosphere in the atmosphere there are water vapors right if we are living in coastal areas we can say that in the atmosphere there is humidity humidity means the water vapor the amount of water vapor present in the atmosphere in monsoons in rainy season the humidity will be more it is very difficult to dry the clothes in rainy season right humidity is the amount of water vapor present in the air now we can discuss the effect of humidity on rate of evaporation here there is a there is water and these are the particles present in the water in the atmosphere the humidity is more we can see some part some water particles are there in the atmosphere these are water vapors if the water vapors are present in the atmosphere if the water vapors the amount of water vapors means the humidity is more in the atmosphere rate of evaporation will be very less because there 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 is enough amount of water in the atmosphere the air around us cannot hold more than definite amount of water vapor at a given temperature for example if it is 27 degrees celsius there is a certain amount of water that atmosphere can hold more than that water atmosphere cannot hold because of that the rate of evaporation will decrease with increase in humidity that's the reason we are not able to dry our clothes during rainy season if the amount of water in the air is already high the rate of evaporation decreases subscribe our channel for getting instant notification of sample paper solution and support us for providing free online classes to everyone www.winpointonlineclasses.com